In a recent report from the Japan Times, the head and executive producer of the Like a Dragon games rejected the idea that the series was similar to the Grand Theft Auto games and expressed concern over the effects of video game violence. From the start, we decided not to have a game where you can hit people yourself. All fights start with a provocation from the opponent, says Yokoyama, 47, ahead of the release of the latest installment on Friday. And the hero never hits women. That's an absolute rule, explains the gravelly voiced executive producer of the series. Our approach is the opposite of GTA. It's a completely different game. Speaking about video game violence, the report reads, but Yokoyama, speaking at Sega's high-rise headquarters in Tokyo, also wonders about what influence violent games are having on society, especially when you see mass shootings on TV and you learn that the author was playing at home. It's a very complex problem, but I think we can't say that video games don't have an influence. Because unlike a novel or a film, they allow you to have an immersive experience, he says. So I think that when creating video games that contain violence or Yakuza stories, it is imperative to think about the effects that this can have on players. The head and executive producer also talks about starting to move away from the Yakuza themes, as well as the decision to rename the series outside Japan. The plots of the games in this series have gradually moved away from purely Yakuza themes to focus on social issues and the story no longer only concerns the underworld, Yokoyama says. Having the word Yakuza in the English title harm sales in Japan, Yokoyama says. Japanese society is getting tougher and tougher toward Yakuza. In the past we could talk about it on television, but it has become a taboo word. It is important to bring up that research has consistently shown no link between violent video games and violent behaviour and this continues to be the position of the American Psychological Association. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, thank you for watching.